a few years ago, but I got really serious about it after I ended up in the hospital for suicide attempt. I know that's probably something I shouldn't say, but I'm open about it and I'm alive and I'm well. So I'm proud to be here. <laughs> um, it spoke to me and it distracted me. I was it like, it really changed my life. I put myself first and learned that I could put myself in my art. I talk about my feelings, but then I put that into something. And every time I look at one of my pieces, it's like, that's me. I am who I am because of what I went through. But I'm happy and I'm growing and that's all I could ask for. What does your work aim to say? Who I am as a person and possibly what I've been through. The shapes, the colors, the patterns, they all come back to what I am and who I am. I'm a passionate person and I just want my art to show that it's okay to not be okay. And you gotta go through life and you just gotta live. <laughs>
that's why I made it. It's for me, not them. But if it's something that catches their eye and grabs their attention to say, hey, I want that piece, then it has to mean something more than just what it meant to me. How do you navigate the art world? Honest, I do my own thing and I let the work play out. I know who my supporters are and I let the haters keep hating. How do you price your work? I price my work on the time that was spent on it. How much money did I spend on the supplies that I needed for it? Um, it depends on what someone's asking for and honestly Sometimes it doesn't even matter about the money. It's about I'm making somebody happy because I'm giving them what they want. Which current art trends are you following? I don't believe that my art is on trend. I work with what I have. I work with what I got. I use my resources, of course, but it's usually based on what people are asking me for and what they want. And honestly, I don't need to be on a trend to be a good artist.